was allowed to make war on the saints. And what? And to conquer them. And authority was given it over every tribe, people, language, and nations. Are there many nations? Well, that beast was allowed to make war against the saints, against the saints, and conquer them. That's weird. To overcome a saint, it would be normal, a wicked one or a sinner, but to overcome a saint, beast means a man. In the Hebrew, the word beast says they shall die as beasts, speaking of men, because man in the flesh is as a beast. That's why Paul sometimes says, now the animal man does not understand the things of the spirit. The modern version uh, changed it a little bit, not to cause any wrong to the human race, says the natural man. But the animal man can perceive the things of the spirit. Well, then the animals, when they don't understand the things, imagine an animal don't understand. Now, this animal spoke that is different to others because it says that the beast spoke. The image spoke. This is to say it was a man, a good understander with few words. Notices that is speaking of a man because he was given authority above all nations. Imagine a beast overcoming the nations. An animal. Who's going to lend attention to an animal? Speaking of a man that was given power to. Naturally, John comes from symbolism, and John could not understand how can someone overcome the saints. It's also as Daniel repeated and spoke. Daniel said, it is a beast because it went against, it wanted to change the covenant and change the law. Definitely the change had to take place. A new covenant was coming. But Daniel, since he didn't understand, said, this is a beast because he's trying to take the covenant of Moses from us. Of course, we have to snatch it up and change it. And it says this in Daniel 7, 21, the same thing that it says in Revelation. And Daniel said, I saw and didn't understand. You see how the nations judge me? They think that I am evil, right? Why? Because they are accustomed to a certain thing. Well, Daniel and John, since they were accustomed to the law of Moses, when Christ was presented, they said, this is a beast. This can't be Christ. Look at what Daniel says. And I watched the horn. Now he calls it a horn. Was waging war against the saints. And what was he doing? Prevailing against them. So John says, no, this is tremendous. Now, why do we have to overcome the saints? Who can separate us from the love of Christ? The beast? The beast? No. How is it going to separate you? If he's coming to overcome you as a sleeping saint who is in apostasy to awaken you inside. That's a warfare. It ain't a warfare of armor. It's a warfare against your mind to bring you to the covenant. That's right. You're going to see it clearly now. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Tribulations? Trouble? Hardship? Persecution? Famine? Nakedness? Danger? Sword? As it is written, for your sake, we face death all day long. We are considered as sheep to be slaughtered. In all these things, it says what? That we are more than conquerors. But it says that the beast is going to overcome the saints. 